Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and yes, this is a TBR. <gasps> Shock, horror, but Nigel, say hi. Nigel, say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Oh, he's so sleepy. Say hi. <laughs> okay, so moving season is upon us. No, we don't have a moving day. We're moving back to the states, to the south. I haven't specified the state nor the date. Just if you're curious, we're moving in a couple months, probably July. It's crazy. Anyway, so my plan for June is to read only physical books I own. So I returned all the books I had borrowed from the library that I hadn't read and on Kindle Unlimited. The only um, caveat to that, I guess, is I can get an audiobook for a book that I own. But other than that, physical books. So I have quite a few here. I'm obviously not going to get to all of them in June, but since I'm more of a mood reader, I like to have options. And I feel like I feel like I might read some of these. So, oh no. I guess it's not secret anymore. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm currently working on this and this is The City Inside by Samit Basu. And this was an arc sent to me by Tor.com. It does come out in June. And I am only 44% to this. So this is sci-fi set in India. And I do like it so far. It is a little more, like I have to really focus to understand <clears throat> what's going on. So it's not like a super quick read, even though it's pretty short. But so far we've only met one character who is basically a reality controller. This is like near future, but it's very like, extra security and drones everywhere and you know you don't speak out against the government because everything can hear you and like I'm trying to understand I don't fully understand it yet but like social media is like to another level and then there's another character um who is supposed to be estranged from his family but we haven't met him yet and they are gonna overlap somehow so I'm interested to keep reading this um and so I definitely will plan I don't know what today is. Maybe I might finish this in May. I don't know. We'll see. But it's on the list. Then it was supposed to be a surprise. Well, I mean, it's still going to be a surprise because you don't know how I'm going to react to it. But I have a vlog project that I'm doing and it is on Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace. Now, this is probably going to take me all of June to read because it is like, I think it's like 900 something pages before you get to like the notes or whatever now if you don't know about infinite jest i've heard about this book for years and then i've heard about david foster wallace and but not a lot but this book is literary fiction and some people think it's like one of the best things ever written and some people really hate it and also david foster wallace unfortunately um ended his own life in like 2008 he had a lot of mental health issues but then also some controversies so this book is kind of controversial and i was kind of tempted to read it and i bought it so wish me luck on that <laughs> other ones again not going to get to all of these but just options because i haven't been enjoying science fiction lately so i don't know if i'll pick this up but i have exhalation by ted chang that i just got recently and i love this cover so much all i know about it are these some short stories some short science fiction short stories and this comes highly recommended by angela and then in sci-fi i also have the ones we are meant to find now i have heard <sighs> not the best things about this book but it's so pretty um and i know this is a sci-fi book this is one of the books i wanted to get to sooner because i can decide if i actually want to keep it or if i could just like you know sell it for super cheap or just put it in the, the little free library we have here so i know like one sister goes missing or like one sister shows up on an island and the other sister has to find her or something yeah heard a lot of mixed reviews mostly not positive to be honest but i did buy it because it was beautiful so maybe i can get to it um and of course i can read a lot more if i get the audiobooks but we'll see i also have another short story collection i don't know which one i will get to but this one's by ken Liu, and this is the paper menagerie and other stories also hear this highly recommended by angela and a lot of people have just said that this is great i think even liana said this was amazing and you know then it must be good. So I don't usually read a lot of short stories, but I've just heard really great things about this and Exhalation where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give them a try. And I just 
just really, I love this little simple, this little simple cover. I have the Grace of Kings. I really, really, really do want to start this. This is the start of a series. I think there's four books out. I don't know how many there's supposed to be. I have heard Tammy rant and rave about this book so much. And also there are these new beautiful covers. And I was so tempted to buy the cover. But I'm like, I haven't read it yet. So I was like, I'm going to give this one a chance. And then if I like this one enough, I'm just going to buy them all on that pretty cover. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. So this is about 600 pages. But I saw somebody talking about either this or the Paper Menagerie and I just went and I was like researching Ken Liu because I don't know much about him. He's just like, he's a lawyer and he also translates Chinese fiction into English. I don't know. I'm just really intrigued. He seems really smart and again, heard great things about his short stories, heard great things about this. I'm just, I want to love it. I want to love it. Then what I definitely need to finish is Red Famine for my own book club. This is by Anna or Anne Applebaum, Stalin's War in Ukraine. I haven't even started this. I haven't even started this, but I need to get to this. I'm still waiting for the audiobook from the library, but I may have to buy it depending. But I can't even start this one because, oh my God, I have so many books here. This is, a, this is absurd. I'm not gonna read all these books, but who knows? I'm still working on the Gates of Europe. So I am like, 41% into this one. This is like a history book. It really is a history book. And so I can't get through a lot of it per day because I'm just like brain so much information. But I just want to finish this and then go on to this. Um, I know Angela, I don't know if she finished The Gates of Europe, but she got pretty far in it before she started this one. And she said she was glad, um, happy of the, like the foundational information that she got out of The Gates of Europe. I will definitely never choose this again to do two books in one, in one month for a uh, book commuter read but I did it so I'm going to commit and I'm going to read these two. I guess I just won't be doing anything else in June but I guess decluttering and listening to audiobooks. Another one I need to finish is The Start of Sleep. I got this arc from Orbit and I started it. I got to page 194 and I was really excited about this one but at the mark I was at I was kind of feeling a little eh about it. Not hating it but I just it wasn't like propelling me forward as fast as I wanted. So I took a break before we went on our trip and I didn't take it with me. So I haven't started it back up yet, but I've heard people who finished it now who loved it. So I'm hoping maybe this just little middle part maybe is a little bit of a drag, um, but I do want to finish this because I was so surprised to get an arc of this book and I want more, um, you know, Middle Eastern inspired fantasy stories. So I'm going to finish this one for sure. Like some of these are for sure and the other ones are like, if I have time. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta finish this. <clears throat> also, I'm bringing back the book club for my Patreon. So if you would like to join the Patreon, um, currently I only have two tiers, but I am working on, well, currently like they're on there. They're just not published. <clears throat> Adding two more tiers back on there um, with different, you know, perks and whatever. But the $5 tier on there, and then of course anything above that will be able to join the Patreon book club. So the patrons already voted, and I said, let's do, see, let's work on like series. Not super long, but maybe like trip trilogies duologies and mainly I mean by help work on me because I just don't get to, I don't get to all of the books I'm really bad at finishing series so I put up four and they voted on this duology by N.K. Jemisin so the dream blood duology so that means so in June we're going to be reading the killing moon and then in July the shadowed sun and I <sighs> I've only read The Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin, which I obviously love, and then I read The City We Became, which was not my thing, but I feel like this is going to get back into the Jemisin that I know and love, so I'm really excited about this one. Bye. Love you. Love Bye. you. Bye. 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 Oh. No. <laughs> so... I could be incorrect, but I've heard that maybe this is inspired by like Egyptian mythology and I don't know. I'm very confident based on this being more her typical um, fantasy writing that's not like the city we became that I'm really going to enjoy this. So this is a definite for June. And then see now this is an arc that I got that does come out in June that I would like to get to but I'm being honest with myself I probably won't get to it before it comes out but it's Into the Mist by PC Cast. this was sent to me by the publisher and it's like an adult dystopian novel which I haven't really read 
many of any of um I haven't read anything else by PC Cast. I've heard from other people that they didn't really like a lot of the things that she's written, so I don't know. I mean, it's here. I would like to get to it because I did get an arc, a physical arc, but I don't know if I will. We'll see. Also, <laughs> all of these. So these are the other four Book of the Month books I got when I worked with Book of the Month last year. And the fifth one was People We Meet on Vacation, which I already read and DNF'd. So these, I think, I'm definitely going to get the audiobook for because, so this is Arsenic Adobo. Arsenic and Adobo is a cozy mystery. Liberty is a historical fiction. What Comes After, I think, is a mystery. And then The Hunting Wise, I think, is like a thriller. So all very one, all very, all ones I could definitely read and understand on audiobook. And like this one's fairly short. Liberty's fairly short. These are a little chunkier, but I think if I get the audio of these, I can get through these. But I just want to get through these so I can read them and then, you know, just put them in my free library here for people to read. So I'm going to, I'm really going to try to do that. Prioritize those. Okay. And then, okay. I thought I had more, but I was just stacking them here. And then these last two, I need to get to a Master of Jin. I'm just really embarrassed that I haven't read it yet. P. Jelly Clark is amazing. He just won the Nebula for this. So I want to read it soon. And this is the first full novel because the first two in the Dead Jin universe. So the first two are like a Dead Jin in Cairo and then um, a something on Tram Car 015, a ghost. And I've read those and I love those and I wanted more. So now this is a full novel. And I have heard that maybe the pacing isn't as great um, as his novellas, but I still feel like I'm really going to enjoy this if I would just freaking read it. But to be fair, a lot of these books, I have not been in a fantasy mood in the last couple of months and now I'm getting back into like SFF mood. So that's why I have a lot of various things here so I can decide based on my mood what I want to read. But I need to do, I need to get to this. And last but not least, I need to get to the Atlas 6 because I have a pretty edition of it. <laughs> um in in texas it's not here but i have the original one by livy blake this was self-published and then she got picked up by tor or orbit tor i think tor and the second one's already coming out this year so i just want to read it and i've heard that you kind of be a hater to love it there's a lot of wow i just hit myself there's a lot of vibes in this and so that can be hit or miss with me so i'm really nervous but i want to i want to be in this like little cult classic club you know what i'm saying maybe that's not a cult classic but i just i want to i want to love this that was a lot of books so i would say for my definites this month would be these four for book of the month or from book of the month the stardust thief i need to finish this the Killing Moon for my patron book club. So again, if you would like to join us in reading, um, we have a discourse so we'll be talking in there and then probably we'll do some kind of like live stream to talk about it. Um, my Patreon is listed down below if you would like to join us. I need to finish The Gates of Europe and then <laughs> start and finish Red Famine. And then, were those it for my, those ones I wanna get to. Oh, and then also Infinite Jest because this is my project and I want to finish this before it is packed up because it's so big. I was going to get the ebook, but I'm like, I feel like this is something I need to like have a physical copy and make, make notes and everything so I can have a comprehensive like uh, notes to reference when I do my review for this. So that one and then also finish The City Inside by Sumit Basu since I already started that. So that is... So that's 10 books for maybe the average person that isn't a lot but do you see the size of some of these okay this one is short but it's more I think a little smarter than me and then this one is chunky and I don't think this is gonna fly by N.K. Jemisin will probably read quickly nonfiction I never read as quickly so these two the startup thief I need to get back through and then the last four hopefully the audios are good have good narrators so I can get through those. But then I also had all of these that I wanted to get, <laughs> like additional ones. So then that's 13, 14, 
Okay, this is like a Leanna TBR and I can't, I can't read like that. I can't read like that. Even if I like could, my brain would be like, no, we need to play The Sims. We need to lay on the couch and contemplate our existence. We need to watch TV. So I definitely can tell you right now, I am not getting through all of these books. I, I'm gonna try my hardest to get through the 10 that are on my definites. And then if there's any other time left, I will choose from these here on the top. So if you've read any of these, I would love to know your thoughts down below, or do you have a plan for what you're reading in June? Um, so yeah, this is, this is my plan. Let me, okay, let's take bets. So if I have 10, I have 10 must reads, the definites, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have seven additionals. So out of the 10 of my must reads, do you think I will be able to read them, read them all? Yes or no, that's question one. And then out of all 17, tell me how many you think I'll be able to read. So do you think I'll be able to get to all of my definites? And then out of all of these, how many you think I'm gonna read? I guess it kind of overlaps because you could just on the second one think I can only get through five. So maybe you put no, I don't think you'll get through all your 10, you might read five. So yeah, those are the two questions. Can I get through all of my definites, 10 books, and then out of the 17, how many do you think I'm gonna read? Oh, wow, I don't know how y'all do this every month. Anyway, let me know what you're reading down below. I probably have said that already. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, check out my description. I'll have these books linked, but then also links to my social media ways you can support my channel. That's including Patreon if you'd like to join us for reading The Killing Moon. And that's gonna be all for me today. Nigel is again asleep behind me. I say again because this is my third video I filmed today. Yes, Heather, I filmed three videos today. How many will get edited? Mm, that's another question. But I hope you all stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreened. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh my god, what happened to Verge? Uh. <laughs> oh, I also forgot to add that I'm reading Book of Night by Holly Black as a read and review for my patrons. I do not own that one. Actually, I are I do own it. I just don't have it in my 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 hands because all of my fairy loot adult boxes are being shipped to Texas. That's not where I'm living. That's to somebody else's house. Anyway, my battery's gonna die, so I'm also gonna be reading that in June. Ah!